ESPNC Sports First is brought to you by 76 Circle K. Happy day, happy middle of the week edition of PNC Sports First. Thanks for watching. My name is Blake Watson. 31st annual Father Duenas Alumni Tournament well underway with opening games kicking off over the weekend. Three rivalry games to be exact. The newly remodeled Jungle was the site defending champion 2013. They came out ready to defend the title. They squeaked by the class of 09. 48 to 41 there. 09's Dom Sablon led all scores with 19 points. Also for 09, Stephen Gatewood had 10 points and 17 boards. On over to the 79-80 game, they defeated the class of 85 by double digits, 44 to 33, class of 89. They end up winning the keg game, 35 to 26, over their rivals, class of 1988. A feisty game from both teams, as there was a total of 29 fouls called in that one. The joint class of 79-80, they get the victory over class of 75, as Frank Areola scores a team high eight points for 79-80, class of 96-97. They were facing off against 99-01. Eddie Pelkey and Eric Cruz get nine points apiece, but it's 99-01 who get the win, 55-32. And the class of 2008 beat last year's tournament host 05-34-22. The tournament runs through July 15th, and it all happens, as I said, at the newly renovated jungle on the FD campus. Moving on, the championship series for the Guam Women's Baseball League got underway this past Saturday. Out at Leo Palace in Chalampago, both GNC Canyons and Team Bottomed Out finished the season tied with six wins and two losses. The top seed for the series was secured by Bottomed Out, scoring more runs during the game when they faced off against the Canyons. GMC Canyons, they're able to get on the board early. They score the first three batters in the top of the first inning. Tamisha Farron contributes to that with a two-run double for the Bottomed Out squad. They were held to just two runs over three innings. A slow start, that behind a strong performance on the mound from Lonnie Pareda. It wasn't until the fourth inning that bottomed out. They take control of the game. They score seven runs to take the lead, and they never look back from there. Brianna Sablon for bottomed out went the distance, giving up five runs. That included a solo home run to Sharika Cabrera, while she also struck out three. Bottomed out able to get past the home run. They win easily 12 to five. The second game between these two teams in the championship series will be played Saturday out at Leo Palace. The first pitch flies at three, free to get in. So get out there and watch the championship game in the Guam Women's Baseball League. Inaugural season too, by the way. That'll wrap it up for me for Wednesday and the rest of the crew. My name is Blake Watson. Until tomorrow, see you at the game. NC Sports First is brought to you by 76 Circle K.